as a matter of good business practice, it'd be useful for producers to have a good handle on their financial situation before a drought begins. And so the good business practices, we'd like to think, are a matter of routine, much like feeding cows or fixing fence. And of course, starts with a good set of records. And so ideally, the record system would provide not only a good balance sheet, which provides them a sense of where they are at a, at a point in time, but also a sense of cash flow. And you'd like to be able to sort your cash flow expenses, perhaps by month, by year, to get a sense of how you're doing over time, and then also by enterprise as well. So if you can sort your income and expenses by enterprise, you get a, an idea of where your profit and loss centers are. You understand whether the cow-calf operation is doing relatively better than the stocker operation. You understand what it's costing you to produce hay. So if you have a good sense of uh, where your business is financially going into a drought, you're better informed on how to make adjustments to uh, cope with the drought. We'd also like to encourage people to have a good sense of what family living expenses are separate from farm because in farm families, so they're often money that crosses between those accounts and again can impact what you are able to do to cope with the drought. It's a good idea to be better informed than your, your lender. So we'd like to think that uh, you are able to communicate with your lender, with other business partners about your financial situation and what you can reasonably do. And so being informed starts with a good record keeping system, but involves looking at some financial statements as well.